place. Think of the plans you need to make. Hey, this is Dave from the Shepherd School. And we're down in the workbench and we're going to do a little bit of home organization for all my nuts and bolts for the different projects that I've been doing. I have just been taking my leftover uh, parts and pieces and dumping it in a box. And that worked pretty good when it was an empty box. But now that I'm actually trying to use some of this stuff, it's taking me longer to find the right nut bolt combination than it does to actually do the project. And so uh, I get emails from Instructables.com and they had this great idea for these uh, acro bins. If you're a reloader, especially if you use Dillon stuff, these uh, bins should be pretty familiar to you because they slide right on your press. So I got a bunch of them and uh, the Instructables used a piece of aluminum flashing, but I couldn't find any. But what I did find was an 8 foot section of this plastic molding. It's not as strong as the aluminum flashing, but um, it was cheaper and it was easier for me to cut. I just took a pair of aircraft snips and just cut them into about one foot sections. Took a pneumatic stapler and just stapled them there to the uh, wall. I didn't worry too much about making it exact dimensions because as you put this on here, they're kind of going to bend and self-level a little bit anyway. I wouldn't use these for, say, a whole bunch of cast bullets. I'm, I'm kind of worried about the weight. But if I put wire nuts and, you know, bits and pieces of, of nails or whatever in there, I can uh, uh, tape one on the end piece here and see what it is. All right? As long as I don't fill it up too hard, it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So that's my two cents. Just something I got off Instructables.com and wanted to uh, try it out and show you. So till next time, you can always catch us online uh, tngun.com. Thank you. I've got a plan.